Hey guys, welcome back to Weld.com. So we had a couple viewers request some different videos, one of them being they wanted to see the fume extraction system in the vertical position, and then another viewer requested 3G Pulse MIG. So we're going to do both of those. You're going to give us a chance to test this out. So I do have to switch out the shroud for this. This is uh, primarily for the flat position. We have a different shroud for vertical and overhead, so we're going to go ahead and swap that out, get the plates fit and tacked up because we're going to do a groove weld, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and throw it up in the fixture and weld it out. So the coupon's prepped. Coupon. Could you say coupons? Coupon. Coupons. Coupon's prepped. Uh, we're set, we're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and run off this uh, Lincoln PowerWave 455 here. Run 140 inches a minute and .99 on the trim. Um, I know 140 inches doesn't sound like a lot to most people, but we're running 045 diameter wire. And the reason you would run pulse is material when it when it's thicker than a quarter of an inch or maybe you know, let's say five sixteenths at the max that's where you want to stop doing your short circuit operations so if you're out there running three eighths half inch short circuit transfer it's it's highly prone to lack of fusion you can switch over to regular spray in the flat position but you can't take that out of position so that's why we would go to a pulsed spray when we get into 3g 4g anything out of position uh, on plate thicker than five sixteenths so because we're doing three eighths out of position, we're gonna go ahead and run pulsed spray. We're gonna run 90-10 gas mix, so 90% being argon, 10% being CO2. And the reason is because anytime you wanna get into an actual spray transfer, be it regular spray or pulse spray, you need a concentration of 82% argon or higher. So you need to have 82% argon, the remaining balance can be made up of CO2 or oxygen. There's 100 different mixes out there, there's some 85-15, there's 90-10, there's 98-2, 98-2, 95-5, um, there's just a bunch of them. So for today, we're just gonna use 90-10. That'll be guaranteed to get us into a spray transfer, pulse spray because of the machine. Um, <clears throat> take that into consideration. You're not getting into spray with your 75-25 gas, okay? It's not gonna work, not gonna happen, Captain. All right, so we're all set up, we're ready to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit the route. <laughs> All right, so you hear the difference? The little pissed off hornet sound? That's pulse. And you can see that the wire is not making contact with the puddle. That's our spray. Now I'm not sure what kind of camera angle the camera guy's got set up for us, but I have a half inch to three quarter inch contact tip to work distance. Meaning I've got roughly three quarters inch wire sticking out of the end of my contact tip. Now because of the camera angle, you may not be able to see that. It may look a lot shorter. It may look like I'm burying this wire right up in there, but I assure you I am not. If you don't maintain that half inch to three quarter inch stick out, you're going to get a lot of crackling and grinding and all that. You don't want that. It shouldn't run anything like short circuit. Shouldn't sound anything like that. You want to make sure that contact tip to work distance is half inch to three quarters. If it's not, you're probably going to end up getting lack of fusion. It's not going to flow in there properly. You got to give that wire the distance that it needs to do its job. I'm just going side to side, watching the edges tie in there. Now I'm going to use my runoff plate. 
You hear that cracking? Got a little too close. So as you can see, it's uh, you can't always get as comfortable as you'd like to um, within welding. So now you know I'm not outside 30 feet, 40 feet up in the air, but I am uh, kind of entangled up in a set of stairs while I'm trying to do this. But if you look at the weld, <clears throat> what would be referred to as my hot pass or my second pass or a fill pass, um, laid in there pretty good. It's a little high crown in the uh, the center. Uh, I prefer to wet into the size just a little bit. Didn't get it on this shot, um, but I'll still be able to cover. Uh, that, that portion up and tie in. I'm going to do a two bead cap instead of a, a wide weave. Um, refer back to the weaves versus stringers video. Um, but I'm just going to put two stringers in here versus one weave. I could probably throw one weave in there, cap it, be done in one pass, but I don't want to put all that additional heat and uh, stress in there. So I'm going to do a two bead cap and let it cool down in between passes. <laughs> Find the side of that base metal, sixteenth of an inch to an eighth inch. Get a little bit of crackling with that pulse. I could probably bump that trim up by about a tenth of a point, but it's doing fairly well. I'm not too concerned with it. A little bit of side-to-side -side action. This stuff flows in really well. It's very fluid. A lot of heat with, uh, with spray, spray transfer and pulse. That's why we use that for thicker materials versus short circuit. Short circuit just lacks that punch. Get that amper you need out of it. And it's creating a dead short about 200 times a second. Right, so your amper is fluctuating a little bit. You can't get enough burn in. And we'll go ahead and run past the uh, run onto this runoff tab and cut her down. So, as far as fume extraction, um, I think it performed pretty well. It, it actually exceeded my expectations once again. Even though it's um, manufacturer engineered for flat and overhead position, it seemed to perform really well in vertical, uh, which kind of surprised me. I thought the fumes would just kind of go up, up and away, uh, but it seemed to extract everything out. Didn't have any issues with shielding gas. Take that Briggs Murta. So it, it, it seemed to work out pretty good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I know I enjoyed making it. And until, uh, until next time, make your well better than your last. And Todd's going to make me redo this again. I know it. <laughs>